Good morning, grade sixes. Today what we're going to do is we're going to work with quotients, and we're going to start by just estimating. So I want to just take a moment here. I'm hoping that every time you see the word quotient, you realize that that's the answer to a division problem. So there's some important words that mathematicians use all the time, and you need to know what they are. So for example, sum is the answer to an addition problem. Difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. Product is the answer to a multiplication problem. And quotient is the answer to a division question. So what we're trying to do is we're not trying to get the exact answer. We're trying to find out a good way to just do some estimating. So you're going to have a decimal number, and then we're going to divide it by a, uh, a whole number and I'm hoping uh, that you'll learn a good strategy here for getting a good estimate on what the number is. So let's just read the question. Calvin and his two brothers are planting a garden. Calvin wants to divide 8.6 kilograms of soil into three pails. About how much soil should Calvin put into each bag? So we're taking 8.6 and we're dividing it into three. So we're going to show you how to do this in the future, but today we just want to get you figuring out what are some good estimates here. So what's this number kind of between? So what I want you to do is I want you to think of the multiples of 3. So like 3, 6, 9, 12, so on. You can see this one's kind of a simpler one. Um, I'm hoping that in the long run you don't have to write out all the multiples, but maybe to start with you you will. So you say, hey, what's the number? Okay, I'm going to just rewrite this here. 8.6 divided by 3. What's the number below 8.6 that can be divided by 3? The closest number to it that's below it that can be divided by 3. And if you need help, you can look at the multiples here and you can say, oh yeah, 6 is the first number below it that can be divided by 3 and the answer is 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now let's go the other way. What's the number just above 8.6 that can be divided by 3? And you can go to your multiples again. Oh yeah, that's 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 8.6 is in the middle here. So you can see its answer is going to be between 2 and 3. 8.6 is much closer to 9 than it is to 6. So if I was just like taking a guess here, I would suspect that the answer would be around 2.8 or 2.9. So you can see this is a great way to give me an estimate on what the answer is. Find a number that divides nicely below, find a number that divides nicely above, and then the two numbers should be between those two. So I hope that's enough to get you going. Uh, you can see he's going to plant about 2.9 kilograms, or he's going to put 2.9 kilograms of soil in each pail. Have a great one, grade nines, or grade sixes. Take care.